Hello Virgo, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the fourth week of May 2020. So that will be Monday the 25th to Sunday the 31st. And I'll be using the Steampunk Tarot for your reading. So let's see what we have for Virgos. What is it you need to know for the last week of May? 2020. Virgo. The world of strength card. Hmm. Let's see. They come up again for your reading. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. First card is the Magician. Second card is the Three of Cups. Third card is Temperance. Fourth card is the Five of Cups. Bottom card is the Eight of Swords. Okay, let's see. Yeah, two major arcanas. You have the magician and temperance. So let me see here. They're important to your reading. Hmm. I get the sense that um, because we have the four swords. They seem to be the only ne negative cards. We have the Eight of Swords here and the Five of Cups. So I feel like um, some of you uh, are feeling uh, devastated and stuck. Like um, uh, you... Maybe some of you um, had a chance to manifest something um, and you didn't act on it. You ended up stuck in your head here with the Eight of Swords and um, you lost this opportunity. Under the Eight of Swords was the Seven of Cups here. So this talks about options. So I feel like... Uh, Maybe uh, you were too distracted by so many options that it confused you with the Eight of Swords. And so you didn't know what to do, so you, you did nothing. And you lost a chance for, I would say, some kind of connection. Because um, we have some kind of connection. You see, we have three cups knocked over on the counter here with the five of cups. And then we have the three cups here upright. So I get the feeling that you had a chance to maybe get together. Whoops, sorry, wrong card. Uh, maybe you had a chance to uh, get together with someone or some people. Uh, some kind of connection. The Three of Cups can mean different things. It could mean uh, third party or just like a uh, reunion. I, I'm i thinking, okay, this is going to be specific, so it won't relate to everyone. But judging by the cards that I have here, I feel like... Um, You're regretting uh, the choice you made. You made the wrong choice. Um, because you had, uh, there's three people here. Perhaps some of you picked the wrong person. And you're regretting your choice. Because it didn't really lead to anything. This was a good time, but it didn't give you anything. 
someone here is offering you uh, so much more, but you went for the wrong cup. You went for the wrong offer, the wrong person. And now you feel stuck with the Eight of Swords. You feel stuck. You don't know what to do. Um, the Temperance card often depicts the angel holding one cup in each hand, interchanging fluids. So that's interesting because we have the Three of Cups, sort of a hidden Two of Cups here, and we have the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. So the, the choice that you didn't make is the one that could have been very healing and given you a balance and stability in your life. But instead you went for, for uh, the eye candy or whatever, the, the one that was more um, appealing at the time, seemed like more fun or, um, you know, more of a good time type of situation. And you realize you made the wrong choice. So with this um, magician here, the magician says that uh, you can manifest whatever you want. And he's holding uh, the sword in one hand and the cup in the other. So maybe uh, your mind, uh, what you thought you wanted with the sword card, uh, wasn't the right choice. And what you really needed to manifest was this cup, this beginning in a new love situation, if this is love related. If it's not a loving relationship, then it could just be an opportunity that you could have had that would have fulfilled you, that would have brought you a lot of happiness. But instead, uh, you manifested the empty promises here that led to nothing. Now, this is for the last week of May. So... If you've already experienced this, if you haven't, then I would say be aware of the choices you make. Choose wisely, right? It's like a warning here. Now, if this is something that's already happened, um, then I feel like not all hope is lost here because you can still manifest what you want because you have the magician. So what you would need to do is to focus on what it is you want, not what you think you've lost, because we still have two cups here. There's two cups being offered here on the tray. And remember what I said about the temperance card. It usually shows two cups here. So I really think that if you've experienced something like this, it's not necessarily over. You can change this around. And the Eight of Swords often means that um, you feel stuck, mentally stuck, like you can't move. But in fact, you can do something about it. You just need to see clearly. You need to take the bandages off, your the bandage off your eyes. Um, here it looks pretty much impossible for her to free herself but I think it's still saying it's mind over matter here it's an illusion that you can't do anything about it so um, that's what I'm getting for you Virgo so let me know if this makes any sense to you and uh, if it doesn't check back later and or you know keep checking and see 
how things go. It may make more sense later on. And if not, then, uh, you know, also look at your moon rising in Venus for other information. Maybe put them together and see if that works for you. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. Leave me a comment. Give me a like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you for the following week. Bye for now.